Hi, I'm Rick Michelle, and welcome to Invincible Painting Basics. This is where I show do-it-yourselfers the basics of home painting tips and tricks for when you attempt to paint your own home. In the video you are about to watch, I show you how to paint what we call a panel door. This particular door has four panels. The more common panel door has six panels, but they are painted using the same exact procedure. And I show you a photo of a panel door numbered in the sequence of which you paint the door, where you start. Uh, sort of by paint by the numbers, if you will. It doesn't matter what your panel door is made of. It could be timber, it could be made from metal. The most common is a hollow core panel door. They're all tackled with the same painting sequence. If your door has been painted before, make sure you know what kind of paint is already there. If you're not sure, watch my video, how to tell what kind of paint is on your surface. Okay, it's super easy and it's super quick. If your door has a clear finish, and you're just wanting to apply another clear coat, it's applied with the exact same procedure. Watch my video, Refinishing a Sun Damaged Door. Um, you'll, you'll get something out of that. If it's a clear coat and you want to paint over it, or it's oil-based enamel and you want to paint acrylic over it, then you have some extra work to do. Number one rule when you're painting, if you're going to paint it, sand it. I would first coat with an oil-based general purpose undercoat. This guarantees adhesion. You can then recoat with water-based or oil-based finish. It doesn't matter. The door I'm about to paint is in good condition, but I still give it a light sand. It had acrylic on it already, so I just applied two coats of acrylic, and I applied two coats of acrylic as the color change was so drastic. I just started to paint the edge of this door, and within seconds you can see the reaction I got. I had to stop. I did a test on the face of the door and got no reaction at all. Not sure why, just the edge. The first thing I did was to wipe off the wet paint. I then proceeded to rub the edge of the door with a cotton rag soaked with sugar soap. I then wiped it with a wet rag to remove any soap residue and wiped it dry. And voila! I got lucky because that did the trick. Now let's paint this door. <laughs> these drawings on the internet. This is a picture of a panel door. The next one is with numbers on it. They don't need the double nines or the double elevens and so forth. As you can see, the number one is showing you to paint the, the edge first. Uh, number two is the first uh, panel. Then you got three, four, five, and so forth. Then back up to the top where you see the eight is, a little style there. The number nine at the top, you'd paint that next come back down and paint the 10 back up to the 11 and so forth so stop this when you get a chance and uh, have and study that that's the, the correct sequence don't worry about the double numbers there <laughs> so you paint that first you can come all the way down I don't then it's the top Okay, finish that off, lay it across, you lay your paint all the way across, okay, bring down this style here, and you go past the end. Now before you paint this board, we're going to come down here now, Ray. Before we paint this board, we have to have this going up into there. So we'll paint that. So now when we finish this off, we can finish off where the, uh, the boards meet. You'll also take note guys how I just slop it on first. 
because we're going to finish it off with by laying it off with the brush. So here we go. We're going to be right down to the bottom. Now, because I'm at the bottom, we'll finish off the bottom mullion. Again, just throw it on, then lay, tip the whole thing off. Now, because I'm on this side, I've got a cameraman there. I'm going to run up this side first. side. Ah. And just before you, you, uh, you stop, always check corners, any corner where you might get a drip. I've got a little tiny one, where did I see it? Here. You can get a close-up of that. Put the camera right down and see if we can get that. Pull it back up because it'll be out of focus now. If it comes in, it comes in. If not. Okay. Okay, makeover people. One thing I should mention is you can't dilly dally, okay? Once you start painting your door, do it as quick as you can. You don't want any wet edges tacking off. Complete the whole door once you start or at least the whole one side, okay, then have your cup of tea. Never stop in the middle of anything you're painting, the middle of a wall, the middle of a ceiling, the middle of a door, okay, you get the idea. Also, you don't want any breeze or wind moving over the surface while you're painting the door, so close any window or windows or other doors that may be letting in a breeze, okay. In the cooler months, you'll have more time than you need to finish your door, which is a good thing, in the warmer months, you may present a challenge, okay? You may have to paint in the early mornings. Easy peasy when you know how. Now, as with any painting project you tackle, make sure you're ready. Every painting job has a logical sequence. You have your floors covered. Uh, you have your prep done, you have rags ready for uh, cleanup mishaps, hardware is taken off, blinds or drapes have been taken down, okay, you're ready, the paint is ready. Don't just dive in and start painting, okay? Think about it. Approach it logically and it will be easier, it will be quicker, and it will have a more professional look. Now, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, and, and share my videos with your family and friends that may be painting their own home, okay? Uh, they're going to thank you. And if you have any questions, then leave a comment below, and I'll get back to that as soon as I can. Now, so long for now, guys. I'm Rick Michelle, and this is Invincible Painting Basics.